What's up, guys? It's me, Rob from Boston. How you doing? Um, this Monday uh, morning, November morning, it's starting to get sunny out there. How's everyone in the vinyl community doing? I hope you're all doing well. I'm here to give you a few updates. I received a letter from uh, I wrote to Record Store Day, um, the company, and I also read, wrote to my local music store regarding Record Store Day. Now, I'm guilty. I guess I'm guilty as charged because I did buy three things record store day, but I was a little bit disturbed in the price. But I did get a letter back from the company, and she addressed a few things, and she did say that concerning the pricing, if I may read this to you, uh, record store day does not create the terms or sell them to the stores. We work with the labels, artists, and management to create the pieces and the stores get their items from their regular supplier. Um, and she also went, to, went on to say that we have never really worked on singles box sets before, and we had no idea how expensive they were to make, and they are not cheap to make. Often they involve new mastering, research time, delved into archive material to find special tracks, and other time and money spent to making these engaging, unique pieces of art, which is what all the Black Friday pieces are meant to be. In the case of the Beatles and Pink Floyd sets, they were essentially put together by hand, and the packaging and labor added to the cost. But it also added to the ability to offer a unique, special, rare gift for fans at the start of the holiday shopping season, courtesy of their local record stores. Now, be that as it may, I still think the $60 price tag was outrageous. Now, it was $50, I think, on the West Coast, but around here they were charging $60, so I addressed the store, too. Um, so, guilty as charged, I just want to show you. Jimmy Cliff is playing in the background here. I've always been a big fan of Jimmy Cliff. And um, the new album that was released, Record Store Day, um, was an album called Sacred Fire. And I really wanted it. It's an EP. Um, he does a version of Guns of Brixton on it, which is playing in the background. But uh, this is a colored, a colored vinyl piece, and, you know, I was interested. This was one of the ones I was interested in before Record Store Day. I was looking at the list. I had called Andy, 24DB, to let him know about Record Store Day, and I think if you watched Andy's videos, you might have heard, but we were going back and forth. And uh, he's a funny guy, he really is, he's a funny guy. But, um, you know, I almost felt bad afterwards that I did remind him about Record Store Day because he ended up spending probably a little too much cash around this time of year, too. But um, Also, I picked up the Black Keys. Now, I'm not a huge Black Keys fan, but it's a novelty piece that I thought was kind of cool because if you look at this, it's a reversed single. Um, they were saying that it was one of the first made and it's cut differently. So when you put the record on, the record plays from the middle, the dead wax, I guess you call it, Dr. Dead Wax, the middle, it plays from the middle out to the beginning. So I thought that would be a nice novelty item. Granted, the price it was $11.99 for two songs, but. Yeah, had to do it. I also got Curtis Mayfield. This is not... I also got the Pink Floyd box on Record Store Day, but yes, guilty as charged. But I just picked up a few other things. I got so much to show, I really do. This is uh, an original copy of Curtis Mayfield Superfly on the... Um, geez, I forget what label this is. It's a derivative of Buddha Records, I think, but it's on the Kurt... Uh, Kurtum label, I think it says. And I always wanted an original copy of this, and finally I got it. So that made me happy. Um, and this is uh, one that I wanted to show. This was I got last year, or, uh, or uh, Record Store Day, the last one. It was Earth, and it was a limited, you know, Record Store Day from Angels and uh, Angels of Darkness, Demons of Light, and it's on green vinyl. And I got a bunch more to show you, including my favorite holiday. Winter Wonderland piece that I got years ago. I love this. It's a promotional that uh, Warner Records did. And it's got all kinds of different bands on it. Um, just 
more ones that were popular at the time, like Traveling Wilburys, James Ingram, Apollonia. That's how dated this is. Pee Wee Herman, which I'm, who I'm a fan of, and uh, REM is on it. Throwing Muses, Randy Travis. There's a lot of pretty good selection. Los Lobos. Let me see if Los Lobos is in here. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Like, we all want to hear that right now, right? Um, you know, I, I wa also wanted to tell you that I wanted to give you an update on my dad. And uh, I'll do that right after I uh, show you this. But this is, uh, I found the Winter Wonderland. This is a special edition because it came out in green and red vinyl. And I really, really like this piece. I got it years back. Um... It was one of the more special record, records that I got for the Christmas holidays. And I also got this reggae Christmas. Um, it was a very reggae Christmas. And it, this one came on, uh, on green vinyl, too, from Atlantic. Just a couple of pieces I thought I'd share with you at this time of year. And, yeah, uh... Guess what? I want to thank everyone again. My dad's getting out tomorrow. And he'll be home tomorrow. He'll be back home and happy, hopefully. And if he can take it slow and not eat anything he shouldn't, you know, this, this infection will have taken its course. He still has to stay on medication until the infection's gone. But I just wanted to thank everyone again. You people have been wonderful. Really, really wonderful. I mean, my extended family, I can honestly say again, and, you know, I will never forget the, the comments, the love, and everything that I got from you people. And I really can't say enough to thank you. Um, I really want to give a shout out to this, this Mr. Bizarro. Can you please check him out? Mr. Bizarro, you might want to check out his videos. And uh, also, Mike, Mike in Ports, Rhode Island. Mike, that's his name there. You might want to check out his videos, too. These two guys have been collecting vinyl for quite some time. Mr. Bizarro, a long-time vinyl collector, and Mike in Ports, Rhode Island. New, new subscribers. There's more I got a name out. And I wanted to say a shout-out to the Blackhawk Sniper, Zach. Zach recently did a video for me. Not for me, in a sense, but uh, did a Beach Boys video, and he thanked me for turning him on to the Beach Boys. And I just wanted to say to him and everybody else that the best compliment that I could get... Um, is someone writing to me, uh, uh, doing a video for that matter, I mean, saying that they that I turned them on to a certain band. I mean, there's no more ultimate comment than that, in my opinion. So, thanks a lot, Zach. And uh, thank all, everyone else, my new subscribers. I never really say that. That my book is getting a lot bigger. Got a lot, a lot more names on here, and it's a lot of fun. So, all my friends out there in the vinyl community, um... I hope everything's going well with you at this time of year, and I hope you enjoyed my little video. I promise to show more vinyl next time. I've got a lot to show, but I just wanted to give you an update on everything that was going on in my life. Boy, in 8 minutes and 35 seconds. Can't be that interesting. So, I guess I'll see you in your vinyl, and uh, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.